Recently, quality drivers are being deactivated for seemingly no good reason at all. So what the hell is going on? And the one thing that these quality drivers seem to have in common is that they have chosen not to drive during this pandemic. The excuses on Lyft's part range from safety concerns to poor ratings and whatever else they can make up for any individual. And we have now heard this happening to over 30 drivers, so this isn't an isolated incident, it's happening to a lot of drivers. And recently on our blog, Paula published a great article and that was the catalyst for this video. And in it, she actually interviewed two specific drivers. And one of the drivers we'll call Roger, he drives in Chicago, and the other driver we'll call Betty, and she drives in the New York City suburbs. So recently, Roger received a deactivation notice from Lyft via email, and he wondered what the heck is going on. And again, Roger has not driven for Lyft since the beginning of the pandemic, since March and Lyft's reason for deactivating him, what they cited was safety concerns, but he hasn't been driving. He's quoted as saying, they kept saying they'd reviewed my account and found many safety concerns, and that's when he knew it was bogus. And if it was safety concerns, Lyft sends out these emails letting drivers know that, oh, you got a one-star rating, uh, a passenger was concerned for their safety. So he would have gotten warnings in advance rather than just randomly getting deactivated like this. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head is Lyft is not screwing around during this pandemic, but again, he has not been driving since, it's be since it began. So maybe he got mixed up with another driver. Maybe a lot of these drivers are getting mixed up with a lot of drivers. Maybe Lyft is deactivating a lot of drivers for being unsafe during this time. That's the only reason I can think of this. And they're, they're mixing up drivers with other drivers. And if that is the truth, it's absolutely ridiculous and Lyft needs to get it figured out. And when Roger was deactivated by Lyft, he couldn't prove that he had a 5.0 rating on Lyft because once you're deactivated, you no longer have access to any of that information. So instead he sent us a screenshot of his Uber driver profile and you can see that he has a 4.98 rating on Uber and that would stand a reason that he also has a great rating on Lyft as well. Again, safety concerns was the reason that he was deactivated and he hasn't driven for Lyft for months. All right, so the next driver that was interviewed, Betty, uh, she drives in the New York City suburbs. Her story is similar. She stopped driving before the pandemic. She actually stopped driving back in February. When she did stop driving, she had a 4.94 rating on Lyft. And Betty was quoted as saying that Lyft sends weekly feedback and it just so happens that she saves all of them. She checked all of them and all were positive without anything listed under where can you improve with the exception of when she first started driving three years ago. And when Betty was deactivated, she took action and contacted Lyft and here's what they had to say back to her. Thank you for taking the time to respond. I can respect your dedication and attention to the matter and I want you to know that we appreciate the time you put into driving with Lyft. Please note that the decision to deactivate your account has been reviewed multiple times at the highest level. <laughs> this will remain final regardless of any additional outreach. It saddens us to know that you have been deactivated from the Lyft platform. We don't know if this might have had a great impact on your daily life, but we would want to let you know that we are trying our best to provide the best positive resolution to this predicament. However, we have our Lyft policies to abide by, which leaves us powerless to reactivate your account. We are asking for your understanding in this matter. So that was what she got back from Lyft. She does still plan on fighting the deactivation. She plans on going to, into a hub eventually and talking with them about what happened to her. And the good thing about this is both Roger and Betty do have Uber to fall back on and they don't have to worry as much about their deactivations from Lyft. But what the heck is going on? For Betty, she said she was tagged once for having a dirty car. Um, she said COVID-19 would be considered a safety issue in today's world, so it is possible that Lyft flagged all drivers with reports about dirty vehicles. And that's a possibility, but it's quite a stretch to go from dirty vehicle to safety issues, especially when this is happening to drivers that are not driving during the pandemic. And here's another thing, even if you are driving, it seems like some drivers that are following proper protocols that Lyft is telling them to do, which have the passenger wear a mask, tell the passengers that it can't be three or more, you can't have four passengers, no one in the front seat, some drivers are telling passengers this stuff and passengers are flagging this with Lyft and drivers are getting deactivated for that reason. But again, back to the drivers that have been randomly deactivated for safety concerns, drivers that have not been driving for a long time. So since we published this, this article on the website, we've heard from a lot more drivers. In that article too, Paula was able to find YouTube comments and Reddit posts coming from drivers that this has happened to as well. One commenter on YouTube said, I just got deactivated on Lyft with no reason. I wasn't driving for four months due to this pandemic. I'm a five-star driver with 1.2 years in Lyft community just received email that your account got deactivated due to low rating and another driver replied just below and said the same thing happened to them and another driver on reddit said got deactivated today for we received multiple reports regarding your account specifically for poor driving safety due to this feedback coupled with your current driver rating your driver account has been deactivated and that commenter says problem is they haven't driven since the beginning of March and had a near perfect rating as well
And one theory that was floating around on Reddit was that drivers that aren't driving that are receiving PUA, the pandemic unemployment assistance, some reason for some reason Lyft may be getting that data and using this against drivers, which would be, again, absolutely ridiculous. So we did actually reach out to Lyft to get comment to see what is going on. And they said, there's been no change to our policies. Without knowing these drivers, we don't know what led to their deactivation, but we can assure you that it has nothing to do with the pandemic or how often they're driving. We have a high demand for drivers right now, and we understand many drivers need the extra income, so we wouldn't turn away qualified drivers from Lyft for no reason. Okay, so if this is the case, do some investigation into these drivers' accounts. Give us reasons as to why they were deactivated. They haven't been driving for months. What, what's the reason? And again, Lyft sends these weekly safety reports to drivers if there are safety concerns. I personally have gotten a few over the years. Luckily, I haven't gotten that many. But these drivers aren't receiving these reports. They're just being randomly deactivated. But whatever Lyft is doing, they're making drivers really angry and nervous. Who knows if you could get randomly deactivated like the rest of these good quality drivers. But what about you guys? Has this happened to any of you? Leave a comment below and let us know. And also, if you have been unfairly deactivated, you can reach out to Francis Mailman Consumer Law Firm, and they're one of our partners. Again, this has happened to enough drivers now that hopefully Lyft acknowledges this and gives us real reasons as to why this is happening. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.